what has really been exciting for me has been the fact that uh, AIU under the leadership of Sanjayti sir has taken this lead in uh, uh, delivering a, a program, a workshop on excellence in sports and higher education. And uh, I think this has happened for the first time in the Western region. And the fact that 80 plus vice chancellors representing virtually several thousand students spread across Western, uh, spread across Maharashtra and other states will be coming here and attending this conference is a testimony to the kind of excitement uh, that sports has generated in our country. I think it's a, it's a great initiative taken by Association of Indian Universities to have this theme two days. will be a significant moment in India's sporting history. And I say this because I truly believe that the sporting and the infrastructure landscape in our country can uh, truly be transformed if schools, colleges and universities take a leading role in creating this uh, in creating this infrastructure. So on behalf of the Diva Party University, of course, uh, our promotion of sports has been going on for uh, quite a decade, uh, for more than a decade. And we are very excited about the fact that so many distinguished academicians, so many influential policy makers are going to come to our facility and uh, going to deliberate on how we can take uh, India's sporting uh, legacy forward. And I'm quite sure that with the collective efforts of so many people, so many distinguished academicians, uh, India will see, really see great days in the field of sports. Thank you so much. And then the system and governing sports. And uh, almost 75 to 80 percent of the infrastructure in sports has been created by universities and colleges across the globe. So if you look at some of the countries which are right on top of uh, the middle stand in the Olympics or all international events, you find that a uh, lot of them have been coming through the university system. I recollect one of my visits when I was uh, visiting US and I happened to go to Stanford University. Here. And uh, uh, Dick Gould, who's the coach, who's uh, a very who manages the tennis academy there, who's the director of sports in Stanford University, he took me to the Hall of Fame. And uh, it was astonishing to see the pictures of all the legends on that Hall of Fame. So you had John McEnroe, you have so many other tennis legends, and so many Olympic medalists there. So I think that was a very uh, inspiring and eye-opening experience for me because it just showed what universities and educational institutions were capable of in terms of contributing to, towards sports. Yeah. And uh, so therefore I feel that you know if universities uh, get motivated, if universities find value in creating infrastructure <coughs> at grassroots level, this will truly transform the sporting landscape. And it's it's not by accident that uh, you know uh, whichever nations which have excelled in sports have been very high in the development index of the world. Yeah. So I think it's important for all of us as citizens of this country that uh, sports should be made an integral part of our lives and our culture. And this movement can truly, and I think I truly believe that this can truly turn into a movement if it is spearheaded and taken forward by like-minded universities and the educational system in our country. And our sporting culture in our universities and our colleges will develop. So I would like to thank Association of Indian University, Sanjayi sir, Sarunke sir, and the Association of Indian University has given the need for sports to promote sports. So I think it's a very exciting initiative. We are looking forward to this two days of workshop. And I would request all of you all to also attend the various seminars which are conducted here.